Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Rewind, presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Friday, November 13th, 2015, Friday the 13th. I am your host, Banks Lee. We're going to look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions, beginning last Friday with November 6th. We were over at Gay Lord Palms for the preview of their annual ICE exhibit. This year it is themed to Twas the Night Before Christmas. You can see video from inside the display as the artisans are carving the ice on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash attractions magazine over at disney springs it was revealed that all the parking lots once they are finished and open will be named after different types of fruits already when the orange parking garage is open the other garage will be lime then there's lemon watermelon grapefruit mango and strawberry over at Sea Road, last week we talked about the walls being behind this old 50th anniversary shop, and now this week it is open as the brand new Sea World Rescue Store. Of course, this past week the Sea World announced huge rebranding and some Sea World Rescue themed rides coming. So here's a shop. The shop is actually, you can see the wood right there is made from old pieces of guazi from Bush Gardens in Tampa. Nice recycling. Over at Disney Springs, we saw that they have new Tsum Tsums available based off of Disney attractions. Really cute. I love this. While we were over at Disney Springs, we saw some new Nutcrackers on sale over at the World of Disney. Comment below. Let me know which one of these Nutcrackers is your favorite. Personally, I love the Tower of Terror one. On November 7th, it was revealed that Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review over at Universal Studios Florida will be closing for good on December 3rd, which means the last show will be December 2nd. Back over at Disney Springs, the new pedestrian bridge over Hotel Plaza Boulevard is now available for guests to walk over, making it much easier for those staying at the downtown, or the, I should say, Disney Springs area resorts to get from their hotels to Disney Springs. On November 8th, we were over at Legoland Florida's water park for a Everything is Possum event where people were invited out to bring their dogs and play in the water areas around the water park. You can see video of this on our latest episode of the show. On November 9th, we showed everyone the logo for this year's Disney Christmas Day special, the Disney Parks Unforgettable Christmas Celebration. On November 10th, Madame Tussauds Orlando shared this on Twitter, the fact that a Zendaya figure is coming soon to the museum here in Orlando will be unveiled on November 21st. Also on November 10th, over at the Grand Floridian, construction's gone up for the annual gingerbread display there inside the lobby of that hotel. Big thing that happened on November 10th was the first day of filming for the Disney Parks Unforgettable Christmas Celebration. Here's a look at some of the audience waiting to go into the park for the first day of filming, which included a performance here in the hub area from the cast of Descendants. And they were all there. You can see right here there is Dove Cameron and Sophia Carson coming in, getting ready to film their song. They sang Rotten to the Core. And in between takes, so cool of them, they would go over to some of the people in the audience and take photos with them. I thought that was really neat. That night on November 10th, we were over at Disney's Hollywood Studios for the Merry and Bright Dessert Party at the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights. You can see me right here kind of in shock how big this apple pie is as part of the dessert party. We'll have more video and looks into this dessert party and the lights themselves on a future episode of the show. In fact, here's a look at one of the shirts that is on sale there at the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights in Hollywood Studios. That's a wrap. Commemorating that this is the final year for the lights. November 11th was the second day of filming for the Disney Parade special, and here is a photo from Snapchat of Reba McIntyre on stage performing. Also that day, Seal performed, and thank you to at John CFSS on Twitter for this photo. Over at Disney Springs is a look at construction for the new STK restaurant coming soon. And over in the old D Street store, it used to sell Vinylmation, but now they are all strictly Star Wars merchandise. November 12th, day three of the Christmas Parade filming. More performances on the castle stage, including Charles Perry and Janine Aiko right here performing a duet. This was a special moment. Jason Derulo brought a couple up onto the stage, and he proposed to his girlfriend, now fiancé, and it was such a touching moment. You can see video of this on our YouTube channel, and I hope they include this in the actual special when it airs on Christmas Day. Ariana Grande was also there to perform. She did two songs, and then as well as Andy Grammer did two songs as well. Also, on November 12th, we were over at the Orlando Museum of Art for the Festival of Trees. Different places created their own trees that you could buy. You could own this one right here for $12,000. I'll just pull that out of my wallet right now. This is actually designed by the team from Walt Disney World. 
This one's designed by the team from the Crayola Experience at the Florida Mall. And then this one is from Universal Orlando. Finally, on November 12th, we were over at the Orlando Eye for the debut of their new Eye Glow Nighttime Lounge. It is They serve drinks, and you're able to go up onto the Orlando Eye and special capsules that have lights and special music. It's actually a really, really neat thing. You can see video right here from inside the lounge and even more detailed video on our YouTube channel. And that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. If you missed the show this past week, like I said, we're over at Legoland, Florida, and Jesse rappelling down the Hyatt Regency Orlando on International Drive. You don't want to miss that one. And until next week, have fun, guys. We'll see you later.